hello all myself mitra b from department of commerce digital marketing and data mining dr sns rajalakshmi college of arts and science coimbatore today we are going to discuss about accounting treatment for income tax what are the accounting treatments which are used for income tax are seen today IAS 12 income tax implements a called comprehensive balance sheet method of accounting uh, for various income taxes which recognize both current tax consequence of transactions and events and future tax consequence of future recovery or settlement of carrying amount of an entity assets and liabilities a uh, difference between carrying amount and uh, tax base of asset and liability are uh, carry forward tax losses and credits are recognized which are recognized with limited expen- exceptions as deferred tax liability or deferred tax asset with the later also being subject to profitable profit test next one objectives Uh, in in it reg- recognition of assets or liabilities that assets or liabilities will be recovered or settled and uh, this recovery settlement may be given to rise future tax consequence which should be uh, recognized at the same time as assets and liabilities an entity should account for tax consequence of transaction and other event in the same way it account for a transaction or other event themselves next thing is tax basis tax base of an item is crucial in determining the amount of any temporary difference which means any temporary di- uh, difference is based upon the tax base only and it is effectively uh, represent the amount at which the assets and liabilities would be recorded in the tax base balance sheet ias 12 provides the following guidance on determining tax base asset uh, the tax base of an asset is the amount that will be uh, taxable economic benefit from recovering carrying amount of assets which means where the uh, recovery of asset will be have no tax consequence then tax base is equal to carrying amount so it uh, this is known as tax base and next one is uh, revenue received in advance which mean the tax base of a recognized liability is its carrying amount less revenue that will not be taxable in future period which means is ias 12.8 other liabilities in other liabilities which means the tax base of the liability is its carrying amount less any amount that will be uh, deductible for tax purpose in respect of liability in future period and next one is unrecognized item unrecognized item in the sense uh, it if items have a tax base but are not recognized in the statement of financial position the carrying amount is nil next thing is tax tax base is not immediately apparent which means tax base of an item is not immediately apparent then tax base uh, base should effectively be determined in such a manner that future tax consequence of recovery or settlement of item is recognized as deferred tax amount next thing is consolidated financial statement which uh, consolidated financial ta- uh, statement um it defines that carrying amount is consolidated financial statement are used next thing is disclosure major comp- um, components of tax expenses 
Example includes current tax expenses, any adjustment of taxes or prior period, amount of deferred tax expenses, amount of deferred tax expenses incomes related to changes in tax rates, amount of benefit arising from previous recognized tax loss, uh, write down or um, previous uh, previous write down or deferred tax assets uh, amount of tax expenses related to change in accounting policies these are the disclosures next uh, require uh, ias 12.8 requires the following disclosures uh, aggregate current and deferred tax related to item recognized directly tax related to each component of other comprehensive income explanation of relationship between tax expenses uh changes in uh changes in tax uh, rates these were the uh, ias 12.8 requires the following disclosures thank you